Right, my old camper van muckers, quick update. We've got our first bit of carcassing in. We've got a little drawer there, which is quite nice. Quite like that. So the drawer only goes back that far because that area there, you need the gubbins for the gas hob to hang down. So it's a bit of a dead space, but uh, it's necessary. The fridge is going down there, obviously. I've still got to put the worktop on. Uh, that's going to have a curtain with a panel across it and there's going to be a shelf over there. Uh, same setup as before. I've got my uh, consuming unit there and then that's the battery charger to monitor charging when you're on the campsite. Isolate it down there. The floor and the back all lift out so that you can service all the bits and bobs. Oh yeah, and if you were wondering where I got my plywood from, I went to Magnum Motorhomes in Grimsby. It's worth a visit. They've got a ton of stuff if you're into building vans and the price is pretty good too. My next job is to install all the switches and sockets in there and then I can carry on with building that wardrobe. Makes it much easier if you can get to the back of it to wire all that in. So we'll get that done and then we'll start putting the, the uh, water tank in and finishing the wardrobe off. Right, there we go. Now you'll see why I do it before I build the wardrobe, because it's a lot of wiring to do with your head stuck inside a wardrobe. Right, my old camper van muckers. This is my worktop. Now normally, with camper vans, you have this knock-on edging. But what I don't like about it, particularly for a worktop, is you've got this lip here. I just don't like it. So what I'm thinking is if I put a bit of glue along that top edge, maybe i can cut that off and we'll have a nice flush edge we'll give it a go see what it looks like and see how easy it is to do do you know what i think that's the answer i think that looks a lot nicer Got to admit that that looks better, surely. Yep. go one little door just get it on the van right folks that's got that end panel in with the door in that's me filler for the water tank goes along there and then fills up in there i'm going to put a bit of boxing around the bottom so that when it's got stuff shoved in the so when it's got stuff shoved in the wardrobe it's not going to interfere with that little joint there that's the inspection hole for the water tank i've boxed all the wires in for the backs of the switches that's uh, one side of the drawer, and obviously that's the outlet for the water tank, and that goes off to my pump, which then goes to my sink. So the next job is to get the front of that wardrobe done, but I'm going to leave it off for a few days because I've filled that water tank up, and I'm just going to make sure there's no leaks. Ha! Turns out I'm well good at this. No leaks, so I've put the front on, and I've also put some flooring in, some candine flooring, so it's nice and robust. So the next job is to get that permanently fitted. It's only sat in the hole at the minute. 
But before I do that, I've got to put the backboard in. And before I put the backboard in, I've got to make some curtains. Boosh, in. Curtains, surround, beautiful. Next job is we've got to make our control panel there with our switches in. Right, there we go, folks. She's all in. There's my little sock drawer lock in there. We've got my wardrobe, which is pretty big, I have to say. It's bigger than the VW. Got a little touch light. And then we've got our under sink, fridge, drawer, all the boxing's done. And then on the back, we've got a water filler. It's a back door for the wardrobe. And then I've got my usual big long pull out drawer to make it easier to access that space under the wardrobe. But the best bit is this. This is my water filler gauge. So as you can see, there's a little bit of water in there. I don't know whether you can make that out. But what I thought was, it can double up as the drain off pipe. Watch. How cool is that? you got to admit, that is a great idea. Okay, folks, so the next video, I'm going to be taking that front seat out and putting a swivel in. And we're also going to put a rock and roll bed in. So see you then. Tra.